Zach Hoyt, also known as Asmongold and Zachroar on social media, is a Twitch gaming streamer and one of the owners of One True King Entertainment. Zach has issued a half-assed apology after being ratioed online following the stream in which he called the Palestinian people inferior. Now, I personally don't know Asmongold, and nor do I know or care to understand how he managed to get onto the topic of the ongoing conflict in the first place. But I find it not at all surprising that this dirty, long-haired, white dude bro from Texas was making racist and Islamophobic remarks in order to pander to his audience and boost his view count and donors. It is also not a secret that the industry in which he is a part of and represents to a degree has had its history of racism along with misogyny and sexism. This is the same industry that still struggles with massive issues of homophobia and transphobia. So we shouldn't be surprised at all that this white man who has essentially made himself rich by living in his squalid man cave in Austin, Texas, would be nothing less than a degenerative, bigoted, and racist creep. But what I can't stand is trans people in the community, especially trans women, who are so blatantly and consistently racist and Islamophobic that they have essentially made it their whole grift much like J.K. Rowling does with her black mold-fueled transphobia. I am, of course, talking about Brianna Wu, who has been culturally appropriating Asians, specifically Chinese people, ever since before she took her husband's name. So we also shouldn't be surprised that Mrs. Wu has also become a growing Zionist running dog by not only denying but outright supporting the genocide against Palestinians, but also cheering on the Zionist occupation of Lebanon and the chemical weapons attacks against UN peacekeepers, saying that they are the ones prolonging the conflict and that isn't real should, quote, finish the job. This coming from the same person who on the same day posted on Twitter that the top priority of the Democratic Party should be, quote, getting rid of free Palestine, tankies, commies, and the fringe left freaks. Brianna Wu has been a constant liberal circle jerker for many years now, but has become more and more rapidly anti-leftist over the last year or so. It should then come as no surprise that she has become a trans shit lib cheerleader for the Zionist death squads and has begun sliding further down the fascist pipeline. As the old saying goes, scratch a liberal and a fascist bleeds. Brianna Wu is the very epitome of that. She is going to prove that liberals are just fascists trying to hide it better. But in her case, she isn't even trying to hide it. Many liberals aren't the closer we get to the November election, and the growing concern for Palestine continues to be a stubborn thorn in their perfect utopian fantasy world. It's easier for them to cast aside leftists and blame us for their failures rather than accept the responsibilities for their own actions. Brianna Wu you are a fascist, a privileged white woman with a first worldist mindset. And as a trans woman, you should be ashamed of yourself for casting aside the very people who are trying to liberate not only our community, but other marginalized communities in the U.S. and abroad. Instead, you have become a traitor to your own community, throwing us under the bus when it is convenient for you and siding with us only when we can provide you with some sort of benefit. You have exploited your own community for fame and wealth, and now you start speaking like a fascist, calling for purges of those seeking to end genocide. You are no different than the likes of Blair White, and I wouldn't be surprised if soon, if not already, you aren't grifting for and pandering to the same audience. I'm Red Pagan Nicole, and this has been Red Pagan Corner. Until next time. Thank you for watching. If you like news and politics from a leftist perspective, true crime, or informational videos on leftist philosophy and pagan belief practices, and would like to support the channel, please head over to my Patreon page and set up a monthly donation. Even a few bucks really helps me out. All links are provided in the description. Like, comment, and subscribe, and share on various social media. Hit the notification bell so that you never miss a video. I put out content regularly, so you will always get quite a bang for your buck. Thank you.